Good morning, I'm Lieutenant Commander Jill Maldarelli Dre. I'm a Nurse Corps Assignments Officer for Lieutenants, Lieutenant Commanders, and the Operational Assignments. And I am uh, Commander Paul Loesch. I am uh, the Nurse Corps Assignment Officer for O5 Generalists, uh, Practitioners, Periop Nurses, um, and we're here today to talk to you about extension requests. So the primary question, a primary question as your detailers that we receive is how do I extend at the current command? And as the detailer that handles the duty under instruction applicants, um, that's a question that I receive a lot. So we wanted to give you some information today that would help you hopefully get that question answered before having to pick up the phone and call us. Um, so extension requests for the purpose of duty under instruction. Many members will be applying for various programs that are at various locations. So for example, if you're applying for FNP or CRNA, you're going to be applying to Uniform Services University. Uniform Services University has a start date that is different from, say, uh, if you were to attend a civilian school. So we're talking perhaps a May start date as opposed to an August start date. And so because of the Nurse Corps Duins instruction where it states that your PRD cannot be later than the program's convening date, um, very often an extension is required to be able to help you be eligible to apply for Duins. And so in order to request an extension, what you need to know is that you first need to draft a memorandum using proper correspondence format. That memorandum needs to be forwarded through your chain of command. And once it's endorsed by your commanding officer, it can be submitted down here to per and it needs to be submitted via the senior detailer. Right now that's Captain Davis, although that'll be changing when she retires in June. That memorandum, again, endorsed by your CO, can be uh, sent via email as long as it's attached with a PDF uh, formatted document. And once it's received here at PERS, it will go through a series of um, looks. Uh, first starts with your detailer and then it progresses on from there. Placement will look at it. Once the decision is made either to approve your extension or to disapprove your extension, um, you'll receive that communication back via your detailer. Again, coming through a memorandum uh, via email. So look for that. And it's important to remember that um, when you actually go through the do-ins process and apply, that if for some reason you're not selected for do-ins, that you'll need to call your detailer back. We'll renegotiate, we will negotiate orders, and very often those orders may not have you detaching when your extension was good through. So say for example, you had an extension that extended you for the purpose of do-ins until October of the following year, or maybe sooner, more likely August of the following year, we may actually negotiate orders that will move you closer to when your original PRD was. So that's something important to bear in mind. Right. Extension requests um, can only be made for up to 12 months only. Um, and within that window, we will try to work with you to make sure that uh, for personal reasons, whether <clears throat> your extension request is submitted for um, to complete school, uh, apply for doings, or to <clears throat> get your children to uh, the summer um, break season when um, if your PRD is earlier in the year, such as February, um, and you're wanting your children to finish school, we can do extension requests for that time frame. It is better to work with your detailer and stay in contact with them um, so we are able to negotiate orders to your next duty station. Um, so, in other words, we won't always request a 12-month extension. It can vary, but the maximum is 12 months. And if you have any questions, always feel free to give us a call. Contact your detailer. We are reachable by phone as well as email. Thank you. Thank you.